Okay, to lay out the nylon fabric, you're going to start with a team of about six people. Two people are going to roll, and four people are going to straighten out the fabric and hold it on each corner um, while the rollers are laying out the fabric. So we're going to start down at this end, lay out the edge of the fabric so that it comes to the the black line or a little bit past it. If it's a little bit past it gives you some breathing room. Okay, so the two people at this end are going to hold that tight and the rollers are going to spread this out all the way down. You can stand up straight and tall if you want and just make it easy for yourselves. Okay, now the ladies at this end are going to grab the fabric and they're going to fold it over and they're going to roll it back the other way. Okay. And at this Emily, end... Emily, are you going to pass it, to Grace? pass it back to Grace? Um, Emily, do you want to hold it in the middle? Or you want to hold it right there? Okay. So at this end, we just want to make sure that it past this line in this corner and straight. And we'll do that process back and forth, either four layers, six layers, or eight layers, depending on how sharp your scissors are. Please, if you can, tell the difference between the right and wrong side. The right side of the fabric is dull and the wrong side is shiny. When you lay out your first layer, make sure the dull side is facing up. That way, when the pieces are cut, they're already paired right sides together and ready to be sewn. Once all your layers are rolled out, then just cut the fabric off the roll. There's a pair of scissors over there. And then you'll use a fabric layout guide to help you know where your pieces need to go. And it's generally easiest if you start from one end and work for the other end or start from both ends and work toward the middle. As you're laying these out, if the patterns overlap a little bit or are too close, the magnets should have enough leeway in them that you can fiddle with them and get them spread out. So we're worried about the if when you put your patterns on they're a little wrinkled, then once again the magnets should be loose enough that you can just kind of fiddle with it and move it around and get it to lay down straight. Okay, once that's all laid out and straight, it's ready to cut. When you start to cut, if there's pieces with straight edges together, just cut right in between them. Okay? And if there's pieces like this that are right along the edge of the fabric, you don't have to cut that front edge, just cut the other edges. Okay? In between, there's another straight edge that can just get cut right in between. And the bottoms of the vests, you don't need to cut off just cut around the other sides. All the way out from the pattern, it will just keep my patterns from uh, shrinking. Okay. Yeah. What about right here though, where you're, I mean that's pretty close. Just so right in there. So right there, you're just going to cut right in between. Okay. Just cut a straight line down in between them. Okay. So you don't need to do like laser precision, you don't need to cut both of those edges. You can just yeah. cut one line down between. Okay, okay. So okay. Should, it, should I just cut one up here and yeah. then maybe start doing those? Sure. Or, and then you were saying don't worry about this, right? Right. Yep. Don't okay. cut that bottom edge. Okay. And, and like that far out maybe? Sure. Okay. I'm not sure what these scissors are like. Okay. And then just remind that you're just cutting the 
nylon fabric, not the pattern underneath. And after the pieces are cut, they will go into these bins. All the sizes of the vests go in that big vest bin. Collar, the long skinny pieces go in collars. All the hip pockets, both large and small. And chest pockets. The smaller rectangles and the hoods in pairs.